Hey guys, today we are going to talk about this box. This box was selling for $140 and now the most recent sales were for $60. And it looks like sales are slowing down after the holidays are over. But I don't know. Uh, at $60, which is less than $2 a pack, there are 36. This is the booster box, okay? There are 36 packs. It is very, very cheap price point, in my opinion, for any booster box, right? But let's go back in time and see what the MetaZoo people were saying. This supposedly was the game changer, right? This collab would change how MetaZoo would be forever seen in the public view. And this was a big, people had very big hopes on this set. Obviously, even TCG Player and eBay, they got into it. Right, they ordered a lot of the set, right? And they're just kind of still holding on for dear life, hoping that they can sell the set for, I assume, break even. I think if these are distributor is selling it for 70, um, that's very, very close at 75. We're shipping the box and other stuff. They're probably getting it less than 70, uh, you have to assume, but probably not that much less, maybe $50 from eBay because they're big buyers. So, Hello Kitty right now is, you know, um, Argo sold it for 120 which is funny because it's exactly one half off now. So you could get it from TCG Player, various sellers, uh, for $60 a box shipped to you. That includes shipping. And previously it was sold by the MetaZoo content creators for significantly more. All, anywhere between 100 to 120 to even $140 which was the MSRP that historically MetaZoo has wanted you to hit. Now, what does this, you know, is this, uh, is there any light at the end of the tunnel? Is there any um, scenario where this does make sense to buy and hold? I think it's um, so cheap right now that you have to look at it and say, wow, this thing is cheap. Man, even for Hello Kitty, forget the MetaZoo part, just... Even for Hello Kitty, it is quite cheap in my opinion. It is quite cheap in the terms of the card game. And this is a very important lesson I, I want you guys to know. This is a very, very important lesson for most people here. Never buy into the hype. You can just wait. Wait. Um, and I know, oh, FOMO, the cards could spike in price, da, 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 da. Yeah, but it's never going to get to $500 a box again. You're never going to get to that. Like, a lot of times people lose money. Like, I like cheap packs, okay? Um, one of my favorite things was opening Cosmic Eclipse and all these other team-up and uh, Burning Shadows at $2 a pack. When these packs got to $10, $8, $10, $20 a pack, it was just too much. I didn't have fun with it anymore because... At that point in time, you're if you pay twenty dollars a pack, you're not opening that pack. You're trying to flip it, which means that you're a really different. You're in a much different place from a person who is just collecting packs, opening them for fun, which I think people should be. I absolutely think that in terms of where this is heading, uh, it's only heading off a cliff. Sixty dollars may be the least amount of money, right? Um, but um, it may be, um, it still may drop a little bit. I just can't imagine it dropping that much, in my opinion. Uh, I, I just don't see it dropping all that much. And I know that the long-term effect of having a set where people get very excited for it and they absolutely um, get demolished, right? It's pretty bad, man. It's pretty bad. It is pretty bad, right? Would I ever invest in this set? No. Should it tell you about the pump and dumps that were happening? Yes. This is exactly a pump and dump, guys. People were selling it to you at 120 with their Go Medalist uh, promo, and then it, it just collapsed. It's, it's half off right now. Like, I don't know how you justify that to your customer. I don't know how... Meta Zoo. So I'm not blaming the Argoses and Alpha Investments in this case. This is just what it is. It's the first Meta Zoo set that we covered. 
I don't really know what happened with Native and UFO and Wilderness. I know UFO is at $20 a box, so I imagine that the decline. I know Nightfall used to be, Rudy used to sell that for $500 a box. I do feel like, um, yeah, I do feel like it is quite interesting and intriguing. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, if you have Meta Zoo boxes, I don't know, like where, where you go from here, it's $60, right? Your distribution cost is 70 If you're a store, even if you sell at 70 the people can go online, TCG Play right now, and buy them at 60 And even if you sell them at 70 there is, you know, if as long as they're willing to buy two boxes, which would you would sell them at 140 they can get uh, free promos, they can get some dice, some sleeves. The extra $10 is worth the collector's edition, right? Uh, in my personal opinion. So, yeah. Um, it is quite fascinating to me that the people who are partners... Now, I figured out what they're called. They're called partners. So these are not local game stores holding events. These are partners that sell online. Uh, they they probably got screwed over. It, it's one of these things, right? Where if somebody showed you the the box for one twenty with their promo on it, you're probably not happy to see it selling on Christmas for sixty this soon to you buying it for one twenty. But um, maybe that individual is in a much worse position. The retailers, the game stores, the partners. If anyone should be upset, it would be the partners. Even if they sold it all, which I don't think they can. I don't think there's enough big enough audience. Maybe Hello Kitty is different, but in my opinion, there wasn't enough time to sell it quickly. They have to be holding some amount of inventory right now because it, it didn't move. Like they they were even they weren't even given a window. This isn't like Magic the Gathering standard cards where you know they rotate after two years, and you have a long window to try to sell the set out. Um, but this window is a very short period of time from the announcement of the eBay cutting a hot half off. I mean, it was a, basically a special announcement. As soon as that stuff shipped and people realized they were getting half off, all chaos breaks down in this thing. And again, this is another clear indicator that you got to avoid this type of product because you, D. Timmy, the end consumer, losing 50% overnight. This isn't even 50%. You still have to sell it with fees eBay account, like you're you're still going to get slaughtered on the back end with fees. This is really bad.